Hey, you know, some more thinking about this Antonio Brown situation. The best action for the Raiders is no action. It, today's Friday. You've got Monday Night Football. By the time this happened, Gruden and company had should have already installed the game plan and started working on it. And then here comes Mayock basically you know, rolling up, and that's what he did. He rolled up on Antonio Brown about something as stupid as an Instagram post, okay, which does not say much good for Mayock, and if he does that, again, he's shouldn't be long for that job. That, that should be it, okay? Uh, hopefully this is a lesson for him, uh, but I digress. The best action here is no action. Let's see if the Raiders just err on the side or favor the side of doing nothing and preparing, focusing on the game and stop these comments like, well, you know, I'm just dealing with the guys who are here. Well, how about dealing with the guys who aren't there and leaving it at that? The whole thing does not speak well for the radio organization at all in total because, yeah, sure, the Steelers had their controversies, but they kept them in-house. What you and I found out about through the media was, you know, generally leaked out. Um, but the Raiders, particularly Mayock, have a, played a large, large hand in why this has escalated the way this, to the point it has. And it was the featured attraction on Hard, hard Knocks trading camp with the Oakland Raiders. Hey, I didn't say Hard Rocks. <laughs> All right. See, you would say, oh, you know, why is it that I keep saying Hard Rocks? Because I keep thinking of this song called, uh, was it Heart Rod Hearts? See, say Hard Knocks, Hard Rocks, Heart Rod Hearts. It's a, an 80s song. Okay, later. <laughs>